Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Buddy and today we're gonna going to embark on an exciting journey to create our very own uh, custom Discord bot using Discord.py which is a library for Discord integration with Python. This bot is going to be a uh, tons of fun. We will make it uh, respond to messages, react to the messages and a lot of cool features on the way. So let's start. First of all, you're gonna head over to discord.com slash developers slash applications or simply google the discord developer portal and you're gonna go over here on new application and you're gonna create a new application you can call it whatever you want i will just call it youtube but first of all we need to go over the bot settings uh they are pretty understandable but things we need to have enabled are these options here these intents will be used later on so make sure to have that one thing we need is the token which is used to log in the bot use the bot etc etc so when you create a bot you can only get the token by resetting the token once you make the bot so what you have to do is press on the reset token button let's do it then press on copy then you can save it anywhere else one thing i forgot to mention don't share your bot token with anyone else Anyone with access to your bot token can potentially control your bot. This means they can you can use your bot to join servers, send messages, and perform malicious actions that could harm your account or maybe get you banned. If your bot token falls in the wrong hands, it can be abused. It will be abused. So please just don't give your bot the token to anyone. After that, we have our bot set up. We need to add our bot to our server. So we go to auth, viewer generator, and we're gonna give our bot application commands. We're gonna make our bot administrator. Now we're gonna copy this, open new tab, and just paste it. And go to server. Now as you can see, the bot is offline. How do we make the bot online? First of all, what we'll need for this video will be Visual Studio Code, and you will need Python. Uh, if you don't know how to download Python, you can search for Python download and press on the download button and go over with the download now one thing in the download you need to add python to the system path it will be shown as an option so after you do that you can go back and open your cmd type in python dash dash version and here it says python 3.10.2 now let's start off with having our visual studio code here i'm gonna create a new folder i'm gonna call it python bot Tutorial, and all you have to do is drag and drop this folder here so as you can see here we have an empty folder let's let's start adding file first file will be the core.py which is the main file we're gonna start our bot on now we're gonna create a new file and I'm gonna call it the apis.py that will have all of our credentials and token etc so let's just add in our token here I will be adding up my token here. You just copy and paste it right here. First of all, we're gonna create uh, a new terminal and type in here pip install discord.py and let, wait for that to be done. Since it's done, let's close this up. Now we're going to import the necessary uh, discord uh, library, which is discord. I'm gonna import discord from discord.ext. I'm gonna import commands now as for the token we need to grab our token so we're gonna go from apis import everything so we're gonna import every single variable inside of the apis file we're gonna go over creating our bot now let's add in our intents that we choose in our developer portal intent equals discord intents all now we're gonna pass in a, a new variable it's gonna be commands dot but i'm gonna pass in command prefix as parameter and intents equals intents as parameter now we're gonna create an event which will be bot the event is async dev on ready this event will start when the bot is ready when the bot just started I'm gonna print in uh let's go f string logged in as the bot dot user dot name all we have to do now is bot.run and with the token that we called it token in our APIs. Now start the bot as simple as that. 
as we can hear log in log in and here we go logged in as youtube bot so if we go back in our discord you can see right over here the bot is online but the bot has no functionalities yet so let's get those functionalities added right, so first of all make the bot reply to a command which will be our prefix here let's just make the prefix something no you know that will use which is a plus don't worry in the uh, upcoming videos we will have make the bot work with slash commands and all but let's start simple for now now let's add in a new command command here is going to be bot dot command which is creating a new command and async def now we're gonna insert the command be aware the command can't be spaced i will show you how to use spaced commands later on but the command can't be spaced right here so let's make the command like uh, hello pretty simple command now we pass in ctx as the uh, parameter away ctx dot send an f string we're gonna say hello and whoever did the command which will be the context and the author and we're gonna mention the author i typed that wrong and that's it let's try our new command in so we start the bot logged in as youtube bot with his bot name let's go back here and type in plus and hello which is our command name hello someone let's add in more commands so let's make a new command right here and async as usual async dev call it react let's make it the bot react to our message away ctx.send ctx.send i'm feeling excited away dot to the same message message add reaction we'll just add da da there we go okay let's try our command really quick go back over here and we'll put in react here we go it reacted our message as you can see and it's saying i'm feeling excited now let's go on the other type of commands we create a new event we're gonna have we're gonna a new event it's gonna async dev the the events name are on ready on member join uh, on message we'll be using right now these are default you can change the name of those you can only change the name of a command so let's just pass in message i'm gonna get the message that the user sent so we're gonna bypass the bot i'm mistaking his, um, his message for someone else's message quick fix will be if the message the author if the whoever sent the message is the bot itself bot.user this has to be double equals we just return that's it as simple as that so now we're gonna make the bot reply someone's message if the message contains a word for example i am a man for example is in the message content don't lower it's case sensitive so we're gonna message the channel send okay as simple as that away process commands message now we're gonna Start. Well, this look for if I am a man is in any message. So let's just go back to our Discord and type in I am a man. As you can see, it's gonna say okay. This will work. Whatever uh, we put in here is gonna really say I am a man. Uh, when I say I'm man, whatever I want, I can do like this. I am a man, and like this is it will still work. Now, if for example, if you want it to be strictly to one word, if you want some sort of a command like this for example help second just an example if the message equals exactly that you're gonna pass in help let's real quick restart the bot help second here we go it says help now the funny thing about this is if we second end with a d it won't work if we really add another space for example it won't work it, the message need to be specifically exactly as exclamation mark help second i hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as i enjoyed making it if you found it helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content if you have any questions or need further assistance leave a comment below and i'll be happy to help have a fantastic time with your new discord bot and i'll see you in the next video Happy coding.